Could the sixth generation next generation air dominance, NGAD, fighter be offered at the same price as the fifth generation F-35 Lightning II? The Air Force insists that the F-35 is the cost ceiling for a single aircraft. The Air Force has expressed optimism that the NGAD can stay below that cost ceiling. The F-35 is the upper limit of what we're willing to pay for a single NGAD aircraft for the mission, Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall said Monday, the aviationist reported. The F-15X and the F-35 are in about the same cost category. But I want to get it down. For reference, the F-35 costs $80 million per aircraft, years of production have gradually lowered the price. A newly built fourth-generation F-15X costs $90 million per aircraft. As a sixth-generation fighter, the NGAD would be more advanced in principle than either the F-35 or the F-15X. Typically, developing and producing more advanced technology requires a great deal of research and testing, which increases the cost. Early projections put the NGAD at about 300% more expensive than the F-35. To achieve a third of that, while incorporating new technology, would require creativity, industrial downsizing, and perhaps wage suppression. I'm being sarcastic, because I'm not a proponent of wage suppression, but the sentiment is real from an industry perspective. Perhaps NGAD could be exported enough to keep costs down. But exporting new technology carries the risk of industrial espionage. The Air Force is carefully considering ways to reduce NGAD's costs. NGAD. The Air Force is now rethinking every aspect of the aircraft that affects cost, size, complexity of mission systems, propulsion, defense one reported. The problem is, a very challenging puzzle to solve, said Andrew Hunter, the Air Force's acquisition chief. It's possible that we look at a Pareto curve and nothing will be cheaper than the F-35. That's possible, yes, but we have to work on it. We have to do the analysis and we know what the best value is, Hunter said. So the Air Force seems to be back to square one, which suggests they have nothing, which means NGAD won't be in production anytime soon. Kendall suggested the entire program be reconsidered, including the Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA, that was meant to complement NGAD. Once you start integrating the CCA and transferring some of the mission equipment, capabilities, functions to the CCA, then you can talk about a different concept, potentially, for a manned fighter to control it, so there's real scope there. What Kendall is implying is that the CCA will be more expensive and capable, which won't really lower the overall cost of NGAD. Either way, the NGAD program is likely to be the end of the manned aircraft era. We're probably going to do one more version, at least, of a more traditional manned aircraft, Kendall said.